In this video, we will explain how to set up the camera and adjust the lighting in the rendering function. First, we need to switch to the 2D view and enlarge the 3D view in the upper right corner. This combination allows us to quickly see the effects of the two perspectives. So now we need to adjust the camera perspective slightly. We drag the camera in the 2D perspective. As you can see in the 3D view in the upper right corner, I selected a forward lens facing the main entrance of our villa. Generally speaking, in order to ensure the authenticity of rendering, we need to find the custom light template in the light template toolbar on the left and we need to create a light template ourselves. We select the real outdoor lighting template and then enter the lighting editing interface. We first need to adjust the angle and direction of the sun. When doing this step, you can mentally imagine the direction and angle of sunlight you want to get in the final rendering. Then we exit this interface and select a suitable environment map. Adjust the angle and brightness of the environment map slightly. Let's click Render directly to see the rendering effect. Obviously, this effect is very poor, so we need to summarize the shortcomings of the lighting in the rendering. For example, the lighting in this rendering is too dark. Then let's readjust the brightness of the sunlight and ambient light, and then take a look at the effect. This time the effect is a little better. Very good. When we render images, we need to check over and over again for any shortcomings in the lights we debug and then continuously adjust them. Then we lit based on the real lighting logic in real life. The lights placed must fit the location of the lamps in the plan. Of course, in addition to this, we also need to fill in the light. So what fill light means is that when the environment is too dark, we can also add lights in darker places to illuminate this area and make this area brighter. Note, you must be patient, you must be patient.
during the process of debugging the rendering. If you find any shortcomings in this angle, don't be lazy. We can exit the rendering function and add some elements in the material library to make the rendering look better.
after adjusting the lighting and scene. Let's debug the camera. It's best to adjust the camera from a 2D perspective. Adjust the camera's angle and focus for each angle, and most importantly, the height from the ground. After simply adjusting the camera angle, we can render. After getting the rendering results, I found that some details of these renderings were still lacking, so let's use the image beautification function. After entering the picture beautification function, we mainly adjust the first few parameters in the parameter column on the left, which are brightness, contrast, color levels, sharpening, saturation, and color temperature. We can pull the parameters one by one to see what effect best suits the effect we want. So, let's watch the tutorial immersively.
Well, after unremitting efforts, we finally got the results we wanted. Let's take a look at the final effect. Thank you everyone for watching this.